Welcome back to Fox 43 Morning News at 9. As we inch closer to the one year anniversary of when the COVID-19 pandemic was declared here in the US, you may find yourself feeling more stressed or even unhappy, but there are some ways to help set your mind at ease. And here with some tips on how to beat the COVID blues is mental toughness expert Eric Rittmeyer. He is joining us this morning, sir. Thank you so much. How are you? Amy, it's wonderful to see you again. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, we, we love having you. You know that. But Erica, let's talk. Um, are there actual ways that we can tell if a friend or family member is feeling truly unhappy right now? Yeah, I, I think this is one of the biggest problems with this whole issue, Amy, with the, with the whole pandemic thing. You know, I keep hearing people say, well, we're all in the same boat, but we're not all in the same boat. We might all be in the same storm, but mm -hmm. some of us came into this on a 50 yacht that was fully prepped with a staff and other of us came in with a two foot inflatable boat with a hole in it and one oar right <laughs> so from a mental capacity standpoint we didn't all come into this in the same level we have to be very hypersensitive to other people what they're going through some people came into this already teetering on isolation loneliness being unhappy this has exacerbated that so we have to be very cautious of that and reach out to the people we love okay so is reaching out is that really like one of the best things we can do to help yeah, I think that's the most important piece here. And what another thing we have to remember is not everybody has the ability to pick up a phone or get on sure. FaceTime or do video for our older people, you know, our grandparents and all that. They might have some sort of cognitive issues. But the, the important thing to remember is we came into this pandemic as an unhappy nation. So <laughs> Post pandemic, we're even more unhappy. So it's all about trying to get back to just loving each other again, which we have a hard time doing these days. Well, yeah, I mean, it's really not anything new. You're right, but it definitely feels way bigger than ever before. The pandemic obviously is still happening, and it really could be quite a while before the world goes back to normal, if we can even remember what that looks like. Um, how is it even possible to still have a positive outlook? It is, and there's some things we can do and some things I talk about all the time as far as things happy people never one of these things are assumptions. Happy people don't make assumptions. The problem is, as humans, when we have incomplete information in front of us, what do we do? We just fill in the blanks with things that may or not be accurate. And we make assumptions. We're normally relying on things that have happened in the past that aren't normally in the same context as the present. So you know what happens? You know what they make out of you and me? When we make assumptions, we can't do that. <laughs> we have to get good information and apply it to current scenarios, not based on what's happened in the past. It is such a difficult time for so many people, um, but I think these little tidbits of information can really be helpful. So, Erica, tell our viewers where they can actually go for more information about you and what you do. Thank you, I, mean, I appreciate that. My website's best. It's mentaltoughnessspeaker.com. I'm all about bubble gum and high fives and shoulder rubs and kumbaya. <laughs> so we gotta get back to loving each other again. It's a kuna matata, right? Just love your neighbors again, guys. It's okay. Everybody loves each other. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. Fingers <laughs> crossed for exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. We'll also have more information on our website, of course, fox43.com. Thanks for joining us.